Hello students, today we are going to see a lesson 2 convective heat transfer and uh, our topic is introduction of heat transfer. <coughs> the learning outcomes of the lesson is uh, first understand concept of heat temperature and heat transfer. Second classify different modes of heat transfer and third identify heat transfer mechanisms in the heating or cooling of a house now first of all what is heat uh, think different ways to heat up something here i am giving you some examples boiling of water on stove second rub your hands together quickly and stand in front of a bonfire in this you will feel heat how heat generated how it is measured and how it is transferred from one place to another place let's see it now what is heat first heat is related to thermal energy comes from movement of tiny particles that are inside all matters solid liquid and gases are made of solid small particles of atoms and molecules now these particles which have kinetic energy and are constantly moving when these particles move more quickly the amount of thermal energy increases heat is thermal energy that is moving from one place to another heat flows from warmer object to cooler object since heat is a form of energy it is measured in joules or sometimes in calories so we can say that the units of heat may be joule or it may be calorie now what is temperature generally temperature tells us how hot or cold something is temperature is a measurement of an object's average kinetic energy these are the different time scales. Different four researchers gave us different temperature time scales. Based on their name, there are Celsius, Rankine, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin temperature scales. What is the difference between heat and temperature? Here, temperature is a measure of an average motion of an object's particles whether heat is the flow of thermal energy between objects within different temperature so we can say that heat needed temperature difference to flow from one object to another object how heat transferred have you ever held a cup of hot chocolate after being outside in the cold you will feel the surface outer surface of the cup hot <clears throat> holding a cup makes your hand feel warmer now what you are experiencing in the heat in the transfer of heat from one object to another heat energy heat energy from the hot chocolate is transferred to your hand when two objects having different temperatures then heat is transferred from cool to hot object the cooler object gets warmer until the two objects have the same temperature this can be obtained using zeroth law of thermodynamics here this is the warm object with temperature a second one is cold object with temperature b if we put both together and allows to transfer heat from one to another you will feel the heat is transferred from warm object to cold object up to both the temperature warm object and cold object being equilibrium <coughs> this can be seen from zeroth law of thermodynamics when a body a is in thermal equilibrium with body b 
and also separately with body C, we can say that body B and body C will be in thermal equilibrium with each other. Here, after equilibrium state, Ta is equal to Tb is equal to Tc. Now, different modes of heat transfer. They are classified as conduction, convection and radiation. One example is given. Water boiling on a gas stove. <coughs> Here, from the burner, heat is transferred in the form of radiation to the bottom surface of pot. <coughs> After that, conduction takes place inside the wall of the pot and after that the heat is transferred to water from solid surface and the transfer of heat from solid surface to liquid is called convection. Let's see in detail. First, when the temperature gradient exists in a medium, it may be solid, it may be liquid, it may be gas. Heat transfer occurred and it is called conduction. Here, a rod is given. One end of rod is heated up. And we will observe that the molecules in solid object don't move. So, the heated part of the rod creates vibration or jiggle inside a molecule particles and they are moving they are giving that vibrational energy to the next uh, subsequent molecules towards the cooler side so we can say that the heat conducts from warm to cool side thermal conductivity thermal conductivity is a measure of how well a material conducts heat it can be classified in two ways, conductors and insulators. Materials that are good at conducting heat are called conductors. Here, metals such as silver, copper and aluminium are the examples of conductors. Materials that are not good at conducting heat are called insulators. Styrofoam, snow and fiberglass are some examples of insulator. Now what is insulation? Many homes have insulation. Insulation keeps homes from losing too much heat energy to the surrounding air. Also many common objects provide insulation from air such as coolers, insulated flask and sleeping bags. Here a figure of insulated flask is provided. Second mode of heat transfer is convection. In contrast of conduction, the convection refers to heat transfer that will occur between a solid surface and a moving medium. Here moving medium may be liquid or gas. And this heat transfer is totally due to a temperature difference. Similarly to previous, here, boiling a water inside a pot on gas stove is given. Here, transfer of heat through a fluid causes by motion. So, we will feel that the warm molecules are moving upside and cold molecules taking their place downside. This process is also called boiling in many places. A third mode of heat transfer is called radiation. All surfaces at finite temperature emit energy in the form of electromagnetic waves. The thermal radiation which we observed from sun can also occur in absence of any medium. Let's take one example, heat transfer in home. Here, all three heat transfer processes occurring at the same time in the heating or cooling of a house. First one is conduction. Conduction can either heat or cool the house. In summer, 
heat is transferred from the warm air outside into the house through the wall different walls or roof in winter heat is transferred from warm air inside the house out through the wall or roof second is convection this convection will occur inside each room warmer air rises towards the ceiling and cooler air sinks toward the floor convection is also why the second floor of house feels hotter than the basement the third form is thermal radiation here sun heats the roof of the house here radiation can also transfer heat energy through windows another example is if we stand in front of a bonfire we feel heat we feel hot around us here the thermal radiation is occur and the heat is transferred from the flame to our hand and we feel hot in surrounding thank you